As you may recall, we've had a little bit of a problem with Aldi, and I refer to their new so-called bag search policy where you go to the counter and it's effectively assumed you're a tea leaf straight away and any empty bags that you put on there are searched for any contents that you may have within that belong to Aldi that you've not paid for. Well, it appears to me that there's definitely a training problem with this because the staff in various stores don't understand what they're supposed to be doing. The husband uh, of a particular lady that fell foul of this has taken Aldi to task on it. Subscriber of this channel and they emailed me the final response from Aldi. And I'll share that with you now. Everybody, thank you very much for joining me again. Hope you're well and I appreciate the support as always. Please make sure you get the notification bell hit so you keep up with everything that's going on here. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Hit the like button, leave comments. It all helps the channel grow, and I'm very, very grateful to all of you. Well, this subscriber, this is one of the great things with this channel of ours. You know, if anybody has any bad experiences, tell me, I'll get them out there. That's the thing. And this individual has decided to take Aldi to task over what's gone on with his partner, his wife, where she got her bag searched unnecessarily and scared the heebie-jeebies out of her there's been a few emails going back and forward and he sent me well what effectively is their final response and i will share that with you right now so here goes uh the person who this come from their first name is laura i won't say their last name because they're probably just doing their job but they're a customer experience team member from uh aldi stores limited Sounds like an important job title, doesn't it? Well, here we go. Dear customer, thank you for your continued patience while this matter has been looked into further. Standard fare, obviously. The area manager has advised that the checking of shopping bags at the checkout is to ensure they're empty and that no items have been left in them in error. Sounds like a bit of a cop out that, doesn't it? This check should only take place with the customer's consent and the Aldi team should be polite and courteous throughout. Well, that's a bit of a misnomer because all the information I've been provided with, they get the right ump if you say no and make you feel like a thief and about that big. The only bags that should be checked are shopping bags and the cashier should not ask to see inside a customer's personal bag. Again, we've had feedback that contradicts that. The area manager has been unable to see the incident you've described with regard to your wife and her visit to the store. However, they've sent their apologies that offence was caused. I do wonder if apologies are good enough. They have reiterated to their team that no personal bag should be checked and that all checks should only be carried out with the customer's permission. So... Miss Customer Experience team member, I have to ask, what do you do if the customer refuses to have their bag searched? I would love to know the answer to that. To apologise for any inconvenience caused by this incident and to thank you for your patience, I have arranged for a £50 Aldi voucher to be sent to you. This will be received via a separate email shortly and can be used in any of our stores as part of your normal shopping. Once again, we thank you for contacting Aldi Head Office. I do hope the above goes some way to address your concerns and to show that we genuinely appreciate your feedback. Regards, Laura from Customer Experience Team. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, sounds to me exactly like what you would refer to as a cop-out. Uh, thank you very much. Here's 50 quid. Now bugger off. We don't want to know. And... It appears to me, I mean, I've had reports of this in a couple of different stores. It's a training issue. They don't know what to do with this. So what they're doing, they're going, oh, we're going to search everybody. Is that the thing? Wrong, wrong, wrong. There are security guards in these stores. If anybody, they should be the ones searching people, if not the police. And surely it's if the suspicion is that somebody's stolen something. And if they're going around searching everybody, does that mean the security guard isn't doing their job right? If that's the case, sack them and get another one. 
Am I missing something here? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that's the last video of the day. Thank you very much for joining me, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow with more content. Toodaloo.